And so then you need to learn how to SSH into your uh, uh, Shiva plug. And I uh, went back and went back to the uh, WView site and uh, uh, updated the sources list. Uh, for the with this Debian Lenny source, I just even though it's a Debian squeeze, it worked just fine. Then I just apt get, or uh, you don't even need, yeah, just apt get install wview and it installs it and everything else and starts the server and it does everything real nice. Uh, so I suggest you do things from the command line as much as you can because some of these things don't work if you do them through a GUI on your computer when setting all this stuff up. And then I went back in and I did make some adjustments on the Shiva plug as was suggested on this site from Google Group. I uh, uh, First thing I did was uh, update, then upgrade, then distribution upgrade, and all that kind of stuff. And and then I did the time zone stuff. I, I had to install some of these programs because they weren't installed. But uh, set your time zone data in your locale and uh, your hardware clock stuff. And there's a command in here how to, uh, uh, right at the bottom here somewhere, to set up a RAM drive to uh, put your weather images in so it's not constantly just writing to that SD card all the time, but it actually writes to a RAM disk. And that works really nice. And uh, I added this to my cron. Uh, so my uh, so the clock in the Shiva plug would be updated regularly with the with a time server. And another thing I suggest they suggest you uh, Samba file server or file sharing is active in the Shiva plug, so they suggest you do this kind of stuff here so you can get to those files from externally. I suggest you look up uh, SSHFS and install it on your uh, laptop or uh, desktop computer. And I wrote a just a real easy little uh, script to mount the Pogo plug, I mean Shiva plug. Pogo plug is a different brand off of the same arm architecture. So I just mount the Shiva plug. I enter the Shiva plug password. And my little script opens a Nautilus window right into the Shiva plug and I can drag and drop files right into where they need to go. And that makes file transfer in and out of the thing very, very nice from my laptop. And so I can go right to the uh, weather uh, uh, pictures and documents and, and files and all kinds of stuff. And, and I've you can modify them in, on your desktop if you want to, then drag and drop them into here, and, and it works very nice. So that's SSHFS, uh, an SSH file system. So it mounts a file system via SSH, so it's secure uh, if you were going doing it over the Internet or something, which is just as easy, but I... Do it locally, and uh, that's subject for a, a different video or something. How to do that? But look up SSHFS. It's really easy and to uh, open up a file under Nautilus, or in, you, you can use all those files in any program on your laptop or desktop, and uh, it's just uh, just like the files are on your computer. It's real easy. And so that's it about uh, how I worked all this stuff up. And here is uh, some photographs and stuff of my unpacking of my Shiva plug. First, uh, this is the, uh, the way it came from the FedEx, and I open it up, and it's nicely packed with some uh, popcorn. 
and dumped all the popcorn out and pulled it out. Then it, the box that the Shiva plug was in was covered with uh, anti-static bubble wrap. And take that off, and it's all packed in a very, very nice box uh, with magnetic enclosures on this cardboard box. And uh, there's all the innards. Uh, it comes with no instructions whatsoever or CD or anything else. That's up to you. So it is a development kit, and all the tools and everything are all over the Internet. And this is the actual uh, uh, Shiva plug. Uh, not too big at all. Notice that it does come with a, a separate power cord. So I, I pulled the uh, the power plug off of the Shiva plug and put I used the power cord. It's more convenient for me. Here's a couple of videos of, of my setup. This is the wireless weather station box. The the lacrosse La 2315 and this is the actual unit uh, that does all the magic and this is the actual Shiva plug and it's all working together real compact device rather than tying up the entire computer system for it now the black wire coming off the right there is I just have it plugged in there, but that goes to your computer to use it uh, your computer as a, a terminal in to the thing to access it. Uh, you can access it straight without SSH. And then this is my USB to serial adapter that works very well. And uh, the weather station is plugged in to that. Now going outside, this is the uh, main mast with the uh, wind sensors on it for direction and speed. I uh, just use some PVC pipe and glue it all together and have a reducer on there and and uh, it's very easy. Just I just have it mounted to the side of the house. This is the rainfall uh, sensor and I have it mounted in a little plastic box there with a bunch of holes in the bottom. It needs drainage out of the bottom of the thing. And then this is the temperature sensor. And uh, I, I believe the humidity is also in that sensor. And so that's my setup at uh, K7JM. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it.